it is time for an update on how the koi fry are doing after the first couple of days. In my last video I showed you I was feeding them for the first time at the surface with floating powder. But how are the baby koi actually doing today? Let's start with the pond outside. These koi seem to be doing very well. The baby koi are now big enough that they are actually freely swimming around and searching for their own food. So that's a really good progression. They are mainly searching around in the algae, searching for small critters they are able to eat. And that is really the great thing of having the pond outside with direct sunlight. Algae growth is a really good thing for fry, as it makes sure there is always a natural source of food available in the pond. A continuous available food source for the fry. And talking about natural food, do you also remember we introduced some Daphnia into this pond? And if you look now, look at how many we already have. A great source of live fish food for them when they just grow a little bit larger. I think it will take about 3 extra days before they will start eating the Daphnia. And I hope that will also help to increase the growth rate for these baby koi. Making it easier to also feed these koi at the surface with powder or really small pellets. Also the koi in the inside tank are doing quite well, so let's have a quick look. And I'm of course bringing my egg jolk also here, because I'm still feeding it a lot. The baby koi are swimming here more and more at the surface. And it is really impossible to count them, but we have many. I think it is about 50% yellow koi and 50% are also black colored koi. Really wondering what this is going to look like in the next couple of weeks. When you look closely you can see that some of the baby fry are filled up with food in their bellies. And you can also spot the small white strings. Which is actually the food going out. And that is a good sign because it means that the fry are actually eating well. As the baby koi are getting a little bit bigger, I'm feeding them with crumbled koi food as well. I'm just making that by myself by crushing koi pellets. You could possibly also do it by using a blender and making it an eatable powder for these small mouths. The nice thing of feeding floating food is that you can actually see with your own eyes that the baby koi are eating it. So that is a little bit of extra that gives you the good feeling that you know that the fry are eating. So this feeding of floating crumbled koi pellets is happening all day long. I prefer to feed as many rounds as possible in one day. And this really doesn't matter how many times that is. It can be 6 times, it can also be 12 times in my eyes. The more often the better. And always small proportions, just enough that all the fry can have some food.
you wonder what other things I'm still feeding, well, next to all the crumbled koi pellets and artemia, they are also getting a lot of egg yolk. I think it is now about 3 or 4 times daily, sometimes even more portions. And always in small amounts as well. The reason that I'm still feeding egg yolk is that this really produces nicely clouded water. And the egg yolk is all over the place for like 5 or 10 minutes. And that makes it possible for every single baby koi to just open their mouth and get some egg yolk in. So I will keep feeding this for a couple more days so that I know that all the baby koi are big enough to actually eat the powder I'm feeding. I'm preparing a bit of food for the fry just by using powder of crushed koi pellets and mingling that with water. The reason for this is that I want it to become a bit suspending so that it really slowly sinks to the bottom of the tank, providing the baby koi with some time to catch it while it slowly drops down just to make sure most of them can eat it because I do have a feeling that not all the baby koi are coming to the surface to get the powder. And of course, still more and more egg yolk is being fed to them. So I'm showing you now how I prepare my egg yolk. All you have to do actually is boil some eggs and make sure that the eggs are hard boiled. Then get out all of the egg yolk and make sure that all the egg white is not included. Simply mix it with a little bit of water and then start blending it. And you can notice that I'm mixing up the thicker substantion of egg yolk with even more water, simply because that makes it easier to spread it around in the pool. Making sure that every area of the fry pond has some egg yolk ready to eat. And of course we feed all of it into the fry pond. Because it's a little bit later on the day already, it's a bit harder to capture it all on video because of the darkness. Of course we also do the same thing for the outside pond. Also feeding egg yolk here about 3 times a day, next to the crushed koi food and the artemia. This is what I wanted to share with you regarding the baby koi for now. In the next video we will share some more progression and growth and development of these koi. If you want to see how this all started, you can find a link to the playlist below in the description of this video. It includes all the videos of the complete breeding project we have done so far. It all starts with the preparation of the spawning tank, up to actual spawning and of course also hatching of the eggs until now. So we hope to see you back in one of the new videos and don't forget to subscribe.